Hey everybody and welcome back to Tenzin Motorsports. Uh, this is my third time trying to record this introduction so I'm a little bit frustrated. I got uh, about halfway through video editing this and realized that my introduction didn't have any volume on it. So yeah, the part that we're gonna be talking today isn't in my hands because it's already in the car but we are gonna be going over why I did what I did, what I think you should be doing uh, as per what RevMatch are tuner that we use here on Tenzin Motorsports and, and who you should be using whenever you tune your BMW. We'll be going over all that in just a moment. But before we do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like if you enjoy this type of content. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram, Tenzin underscore motorsports and Nikki underscore nightmare 46. We do giveaways and all you have to do to be part of those is be following us on the Tenzin underscore motorsports Instagram. So this car got a PMAS mass airflow sensor and there's uh, two things on these cars that stop you from doing a lot of boost and a lot of power. It's your mass airflow sensor and your fuel pump. Now I have been driving on borrowed horsepower because my mass airflow sensor and my fuel pump should have basically been giving me issues long before 400 horsepower and uh, long before 13 PSI. I'm not sure exactly how I was scooting by, but we have reached the limit of my mass airflow sensor, which is why we replaced one. PMAS has a lot of really good stuff and I'll have linked in the description the one that I used. I have an MS43, so we'll be talking today about how we wired that up. And I'll also be showing a diagram. Here's a diagram. And if you notice here, it only tells us to use four wires and the PMAS mass airflow sensor that we were using comes with six wires. So we'll talk about what to do with the other two that we won't be using and what pins they are. So from here, we're gonna talk about one other thing and then I'll continue on to the rest of the video that's already been recorded. Your six pins, one starts where the arrow is pointing. So if the air is flowing this way, you've got pin one, two, three, four, five, and six. They weren't labeled and the ones I got were all green and so that was difficult to work with. And so we took pins one and two, we cut them, spun them up, tied them off, and then you use the other four with this diagram here. Um, I'll leave this up for just a moment so that you guys can get a screenshot, whatever you need to get from it. All right, so here is the wiring harness all done. Uh, I totally spaced to show you guys what it looks like before I wrapped it all up, but um, you can see here pins one and two. Don't need to use them. Um, pin three, uh, pin four, this one right here is actually the one that goes to the chassis ground. And you can see that I've just got this brown wire running off and we went over to just behind here, just at a camera view, there is a, a grounding mount for a whole bunch of other wires. So we ran it over into there, pretty simple. So those four right there. So three out of your MS-43 and then one more for your ground. And uh, we're ready to plug this in and see if it starts. I did have to run a flash tune. So you can't just plug this in and, and go for it. You actually do have to retune the car when you're changing out your math, but that was that's par for the course since we are going to be then pushing more power and seeing what this math can do for us versus the stock one. All right, so we are doing the test drive for this MAF that we just installed. Uh, RevMatch has done a couple revisions since we've got it. Uh, he had to do some live tuning because it ran so poorly up front, which we kind of figured it would. I mean, it, it wasn't set up for it. So the wiring on has been fairly easy. Uh, RevMatch has made the rest of this process super easy. So again, big shout out to them. All of their information and all the stuff that we use today will be linked in the description below. So now let's go and start this and go take it for a test drive.
much better. And uh, when we eventually get to where the fuel pump stops working, we're gonna have to go to a fuel cell in this car because I'm, I'm not gonna spend money uh, putting parts into the old system when my ultimate goal would be to do a fuel cell. So I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. Uh, there's gonna be tons more on this car and on the black car. And uh, we've got some other exciting news coming up eventually. We'll see, hopefully. Um, we'll announce that when that happens. So stay tuned, very happy with everything that we've done in this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bam!